Hey, what's going on everybody on YouTube? I'm working on a 2010 Scion XB. The battery light came on, there's a charging system problem. I'm not too sure if it's a battery issue yet or an alternator. However, the battery's already been removed because it wouldn't start anymore due to the dead battery. So in this video, what I wanna do is kinda show you how to test the battery after you charged it without using a battery tester if you don't have one. So you're gonna need a multimeter and you may need someone else to help you out to crank the vehicle. So let's get started. Okay everyone, so the battery's already charged. I charged it overnight. And if you notice, it's at 100%, which means is at 12.9, basically anything above 12.6 volts is already 100%. It's full, at the full potential of the battery. However, we still need to install it into the vehicle. And I wanna show you the special procedure or the procedure that we use uh, when I was out in the field when we didn't have the battery tester with us. And, uh, but we do need a multimeter and sometimes we may need someone else to help us out to crank the vehicle. But uh, before we get started with that, also just wanna let you know, before I even hooked up the charger, I cleaned up the battery and I like using this product right here. It's a battery cleaner. You can get it at a local parts store, uh, auto, auto parts store. And uh, you know, it's you spray it on there, it foams up and it just sprinkle it with some water and it comes right off. Uh, sometimes you might have to scrub a little bit just to get rid of some corrosion. Another thing that I also like to use is this little battery pulse brush. So it's a cleaner and you just apply it onto the post and you'll see that it cleans up the post very nice and that's something that I highly recommend whenever you're working on the back with a battery so now let's install this into the vehicle so batteries already installed now let's install the terminal good I'm just gonna tighten up that's tight now the negative is tight as well so we're good to go now we're gonna test the battery Okay, before we test, I want to let you know how to set up your multimeter. I have this Fluke 117, but just remember, place your selector to the volts DC, and then get your leads ready, and place it onto your terminals. Obviously, red is for your positive, and then the black is for your negative. So right now, we're at 12.96. So I'm going to have my son turn the car on. Uh, on the on position don't start and I'm gonna have them turn on the headlights for like five minutes I want to get rid of some of that that uh, voltage right there and I'll explain why okay so my son's turning on the car in the on position or turning the key onto the on position and then he's gonna turn on the headlights so we're gonna count to five seconds one two three four five okay you can turn off the lights now the reason why I want to put a load onto the battery for like five seconds it's because that's more realistic I'm trying to simulate it to a real thing for example when you park your vehicle and you turn it off you go out to the store or whatever your computer's still working if you have an alarm it's still sucking in a little bit of that voltage so I want to just get rid of some of that to keep it more accurate and if you can tell it's a it went from 12.96 to 12.63 which was we're still in full potential which is good now we're gonna crank it when we're, when we're cranking the vehicle during the time of the crank not when the engine's already running just during the time when we crank i want to see this voltage right here i don't want it to be lower than 9.6 that's the general rule anything lower, lower than 9.6 we have a faulty battery and again this is already fully charged battery go ahead and crank it okay turn it off Crank it one more time. So we notice it didn't go below 10.98. That's a good sign. We have a good battery. However, take a look. Engine's running and the alternator is not charging the battery. So we know we have a faulty alternator and uh, more than likely we have to replace this alternator. Hope this video helped you out right here. To teach you how to test your battery if you don't have a battery tester but you got a multimeter and you also have someone that can help you out to crank the vehicle uh, if you have any questions or if you have any comments please uh, write them down below and I'll do my best to uh, well 
I will get to the comments as soon as possible. Hope this video helped you out. Please subscribe and also like the video. I appreciate it. See ya. Go ahead and turn it off. Yeah, it's the alternator.